the difference between indefinite and definite integrals? With an indefinite integral, there are no upper and lower limits on the integral here. And what we'll get is an answer that still has x's in it and will also have a k plus k in it. A definite integral has upper and lower limits on the integrals and it's called definite because at the end of the problem we have a number. It is a definite answer. OK, let's do both of them and see the difference. The integral of x to the 5 dx is equal to... Now, for integration I have to add 1 to the index. So it's going to be x to the 6 and then I divide by the new number x to the 6 over 6. And then I must remember the plus k. k is just some constant. We might have some information elsewhere in the problem that help us define the constant. In this case, we don't have any extra information, so it's just plus k. Now, let's see what it looks like as a definite integral, this time with upper and lower limits, and we'll see what happens. Step one is to do what we just did. We integrate. And I'm going to have, once again, x to the 6 over 6. But this time I do not have plus k. I don't need it, so I don't have it. And I write it like this, and then I have a lower limit of 1 and an upper limit of 2. These are the numbers that come from here in the question. 1 comes from here, 2 comes from here. So what I've done is I've integrated and written in the upper and lower limits correctly. The next step is to actually substitute these upper and lower limits. So what I can do is like this and like this and I'm going to substitute 2 into this position and 1 into this position. So what have I done? I've found the integral then I've substituted 2 into this position and 1 into this position and I'm going to subtract the difference. And I'm just going to use scientific notebook now to give me that as a decimal. And it turns out to be 10.5. And this is a definite answer.